Hi students, welcome to the second tutorial of the chapter, Applications of Trigonometry. This tutorial is exercise 12.1, problem number 1 and problem number 5 solutions. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on 10th class mathematics. Let us look at the first problem. A tower stands vertically on the ground. From a point which is 15 meter away from the foot of the tower, the angle of elevation of top of the tower is 45 degrees. What is the height of the tower? So here the problem involves a tower and an observer and the distance between the foot of the tower and the observer is 15 meter. A uh, tower yaka top and choose 20 angle of elevation 45 degrees aite. You have to find the height of the tower. So consider this as a tower and this girl as the observer and the distance between them on the ground is 15 meter and the angle of elevation is actually 45 degrees. So let us draw a linear diagram for this. This is a level ground, AB is the height of the tower, C is the observer and distance between the observer and this foot of this tower is 15 meter and angle of elevation of top of the tower is 45 degrees. So let us write what we have in the problem. AB is height of the tower, Manu calculate your in the Then C is the observer, angle ACB is the angle of elevation of the top of the tower. You can write it as angle C also. It's okay, no problem. In the case, see the angles are not Now, BC is the distance between the foot of the tower and the observer. Now, if you observe this diagram, here this is the angle. Now, to this angle, this is actually adjacent side. Man current calls in the opposite side. So, immediately, man have a 6 trigonometric ratio. Lo, opposite to adjacent ki ratio. There are, there are two such ratios. They are tan and cot. These two ratios are used in the E height of the tower and calculate here. I'll take here tan. So tan 45 is opposite by adjacent. That means AB by BC. We know that tan 45 is 1. So 1 is equal to AB by 15. Now if you do cross multiplication, you will have AB into 1 is equal to 15 into 1. Or okay, fraction yoko value 1 ki equal the numerator and denominator equal. Atla koda mir AB is equal to 15 and right. So AB 1s are AB, 15 1s are 15. Therefore, Height of the tower is equal to 15 meter. You can make an important vision in a right angle triangle. If one angle is 45 degrees, then automatically the other angle is also 45. And the triangle is isosceles. If the isosceles right angle triangle is hypotenuse is equal to the two sides. Equal. And the opposite side and the adjacent side will be equal. So, it will be problems. If the angle of elevation or the angle of depression is 45 degrees. Mere direct objective questions lo te, adjacent value ichinu, opposite ra chu, opposite value ichinu, adjacent ra chu, because they are equal and the distance between the foot of the tower and observer 15 meters unte, height of the tower koda manik 15 meters ochindi. let us look at the second problem a tree breaks due to storm and broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground by making 30 degrees with the ground the distance between the foot of the tree and the top of the tree on the ground is 6 meter. Find the height of the tree before falling down. It's an interesting problem. There is a tree. A storm wall tree break. A break in it went part ground touch. This is my daily experience. Rainy season lo shetlai padna padna broken part ekada hothai ground meedha padna. Okay. Atla padna ta padu. A broken part e tree yokka foot ninchi 6 meter distance lo padna ta. Adhe vedanga. A broken part is making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Then you have to find the height of the tree. Consider this is a level ground and this is a tree. Due to storm, this is broken into two parts. And this broken part is making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Manu actually ga trigonometry introduction lona choose kuno in chapter lo. Towers zoo, le, the trees zoo, poles, atlant manu linear ga chodali. Inkada broken part ki chala branches on naikada. A branch 30 degrees chasthana miru consider chance of You have to consider this trunk. This trunk is the angle that we consider. And the distance between the foot of the tree and the broken part is actually 6 meters. The tree is the top. This broken part is the distance of the tree. 6 meters. The tree is the same as the tree. The tree is the same as the tree. So this tree is actually is broken into two parts. Let us try to draw the diagram. AB is the remaining part of the tree on the ground. So this is AB. Okay, now this broken part to see the touch is in the top. So, the identity distance is 6 meter. 
AC ఇదేదైతే బ్రోకెన్ పార్ట్ ఉందో అది AC నౌ దిస్ ఇస్ మేకింగ్ ఎన్ యాంగిల్ ఆఫ్ 30 డిగ్రీస్ విత్ ద గ్రౌండ్ నౌ మనం ఇక్కడ రెండు వాల్యూస్ కాలిక్యులేట్ చేయాలి ఈ రిమైనింగ్ పార్ట్ ఆన్ ద గ్రౌండ్ అదే విధంగా ఈ బ్రోకెన్ పార్ట్ ఈ రెండు కూడా ఈ డయాగ్రామ్ లో ఏంటో మనం అబ్జర్వ్ చేస్తే ఇది రిమైనింగ్ పార్ట్ ఆన్ ద గ్రౌండ్ AB ఇంకా పడిపోకుండా ఉన్నది ఈ AC ఏమో బ్రోకెన్ పార్ట్ సో హియర్ యు హావ్ టు కాలిక్యులేట్ టు వాల్యూస్ AB అండ్ AC ఆ రెండు ప్లస్ చేస్తే మనకి ట్రీ యొక్క టోటల్ హైట్ వస్తుంది రైట్ Now let us try to write what is given in the problem. AB is the remaining part on the ground. AC is the broken part. Then BC is the distance between the foot of the tree and the top of the tree. That is 6 meter. Angle ACB is the angle made by the broken part with the ground. So here we have angle 30 and we have adjacent side. We have to calculate the remaining two. That is we have to calculate opposite side and hypotenuse also. So we have to take two trigonometric ratios. Adjacent to opposite covalent, adjacent to the opposite covalent, you have to make use of tan or cot also. Adjacent to the opposite hypotenuse covalent, then you can make use of cos or secant. So, let us try to find the value of the total height of the tree, which is the sum of AB and AC. So, AB calculate you will take tan. Tan 30 degrees is opposite by adjacent, that means AB by BC. We know that tan 30 is 1 by root 3. So, 1 by root 3 is AB by 6. Cross multiply is the AB into root 3 is equal to 6 into 1. 6 ones are 6. So, right side man 6 on the. I want only AB. AB in root 3 multiply yes. When you transpose it to the other side, it will actually divide. So, AB is actually 6 by root 3. Keep it aside. We got one value. Now, let us find AC. Adjacent on the man the hypotenuse call. You can take cos. Leda, you put it but opposite to koda hypotenuse and calculate it. Sign to. Let us use BC. Now, I will take cos 30, adjacent by hypotenuse, BC by AC. Cot 30 is square root of 3 by 2. So, on the left side, you have root 3 by 2. On the right side, we have BC by AC. BC 6 kada. So, 6 by AC. Cross multiply just the AC into root 3 is equal to 6 into 2. Right? So, AC is equal to 6 to 12 by 12 by root 3. So, I will take two values. Let us find the total height, AB plus AC. That means, 6 by root 3 plus 12 by root 3, you can do like fractions. So, you can add the numerators. 6 plus 12, 18 by root 3. So, we have height of the tree. Actual height of the tree. Because actually in the denominator, we have an irrational number. So, let us try to rationalize this. And eventually, root 3 to numerator and denominator ni multiply. We already learned them in your 9th class. So, you will have 18 by root 3 into root 3 by root 3. So, a fraction into a fraction, you have numerator into numerator by denominator into 18 into root 3, 18 root 3, denominator lo root 3 into root 3, 3. So, you have 18 root 3 by 3. E 3, 18 lo 6 times cancel out this. So, you have 6 into root 3. That means, height of the tree is actually 6 root 3 meter. So, you have calculated two values. Okay, the other end calculate jesa. Our end plus jesa in tarvata, we have got the total height of the tree. Let us move to the next problem. A contractor wants to set up a slide for the children to play in the park. Slide and man jar bala ad kundar kadamir. Atlan jar bala ad kundar park lo pahit kundar. He wants to set it up at a height of 2 meter from the ground. Ground ninchi 2 meter height lo dhan construct chay ali. Alagay slide is making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Apoi slide yokka length aim unda lo man calculate chay ali. Consider this as a slide. And height of the slide is actually 2 meter. And this slide that means this one is making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Now, you have to calculate the length of the slide. Yenta podugga is slide construct chayalo shepal manu. So, you can clear this here right angle triangle. Right? Angle is 30. 30 ka opposite side. Height of the slide 2 meters only. Now, you have to find. It's like high, finding the hypotenuse. ABMO height of the slide. Right? Then value 2 meters. CMO slide ground and touch is thana place. Now, you have to calculate AC. Manki AC value ka aval. Right? You have to find the length of the slide that is AC. If you slide ground to the angle, it is actually making an angle of 30 degrees. Now, consider this right triangle. Here we have 30. This 30 is 2 meters opposite side. Man kawals in hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse, it is actually sin. So, man sin 30 degrees calculate jayasin at laite. Chala easy ga length of the slide calculate jayasin. Height of the slide 2 meter. Angle ACB is the angle made by the slide with the ground. That is 30 degrees. And AC is the length of the slide. That is what we have to calculate. Let us take sin. Sin 30 is 
opposite by hypotenuse ab by ac sin 30 is 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 is 2 by ac cross multiply jayasthe ac into 1 is equal to 2 into 2 ac into 1 is ac is 2 to 4 therefore length of the slide a slide yantha podu construct chayalata long yantha undali it should be 4 meters long let us look at the fourth problem length of the shadow of a 15 meter high pole is 5 root 3 meter at 7 o'clock in the morning. So, morning 7 o'clock time low, okay, pole yoka shadow length it should, height of the pole 15 meter, shadow length, shadow according to the, it will be on the ground, 5 root 3 meter. Then what is the angle of elevation of the sun rays with the ground at the time? That's an interesting problem. With sun rays ground to end the angle of to inclination just now, manu chepal. Sun rays manu patko galama, choda galan tappa. We cannot see the light also. We can feel the sun rays, right? Let us try to draw a diagram for this. So, consider this as the pole. I am taking a flat pole. Then, there is a sun in the high, very high in the sky. This is shadow on code. Actually, shadow on manam thickness aim on the do. Man understand this code on goes. I have taken the gray part as a shadow. We are given height of the pole is 15 meter and length of the shadow is 5 root 3. If you manu sun ekado high low on the sun rays yoka angle of elevation can call man. Suppose this is the angle, this is a ray imaginary line joining the sun with that pole and the top of the shadow. Suppose this is imagine this one. If you are looking at the sun, you are looking at the angle of inclination. Of course, the sun is directly showing the angle of Right? Now you have to calculate the angle that the sun rays are making here. You have to calculate the angle of elevation. Let us try to draw a linear diagram for this. If you clear to choose this, you can very see, clearly see a right angle triangle here. So, AB is height of the pole. C is the edge of this shadow. And AC is okay, imaginary line. And sun, and sun rays and choose the angle of elevation. So, this is what you have to calculate. Man, angle C in calculate. Height of the pole 15 meter. Length of the shadow 5 root 3. Okay, sir, diagram choose the, you have to calculate this angle. We want this angle. This angle is the opposite side. Undi. Adjacent side goda undi. We have both opposite and adjacent. Right now, we have to calculate the angle by taking either cot or tan. Man, my angle calculate it. Right? So, AB is height of the pole that is 15 meter. BC is the length of the shadow 5 root 3 meter. Angle C is the angle of elevation of the sun. That is what we have to calculate. So, let us take tan of angle C. Tan C is opposite by adjacent AB by BC. We don't know C. So, tan C in tan C like a carry as thumb. AB is 15 by 5 root 3. Actually, 5, 15 lo 3 times cancel out. So, you will have tan c is equal to 3 by root 3. So, 3 can be written as root 3 into root 3. So, on the right side, you will have root 3 into root 3 by root 3. Now, this root 3 and root 3 will be cancelled, which means tan c is equal to root 3. So, man, trigonometric ratios in HK, ratio prakaram, tan of which angle is root 3? That is what we have to think. A angle yoka tangent root 3, it's actually 60 degrees. So, tan C is equal to on the right side in place of root 3, I have to write tan 60. Therefore, angle of elevation of the sun rays is actually 60 degrees. So, it will choose column. Look at the fifth problem. You want to erect a pole of height 10 meter with the support of three ropes. Each rope has to make an angle of 30 degrees with the pole. What should be the length of the pole? So, a pole manu nuncho betal vertical ga, with support of three ropes in three directions. Right? Height of the pole is 10 meter. Each rope is making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. At laite, matto rope, three ropes yaka total length calculate here. Manu functions ko vatki shamiyana sastar chodan. A shamiyana ki poles pertar. A pole ki support ga gada ropes sastar. Kada. So, idh gud atlant de. Kani shamiyana ki rakar kaal pole support on tayga bati wakar rope vastar general ga. Can you pull the support ka three ropes hai, sir, three directions? Lo. We have to find the total length of the rope. Consider this as the pole, and these are the three ropes which are tied to it. Each rope is making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. Now, height of this pole is actually 10 meter. Height and a rope cut the rope height and artham. Okay. Now you have to draw a right angle triangle for this. Manu three ropes this We will consider only one rope at a time and we will find the length of each rope. So, a rope calculate yasi, 3 ropes length equal gada. You can multiply that with 3. So, you can have the total length of the rope. So, here AB is the height of the pole. C is the point where the rope is tied. 
and AC is the length of one rope and each rope is making an angle of 30 degrees with the ground. AB is the height of the pole. So here we have an angle and we have its opposite side also. I want this hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse is actually sin. So mana sin is not like the easy ga length of one rope also. AB is height of the pole 10 meter. AC is length of each rope and angle C is the angle made by the rope with the ground. Let us take sin. Sin 30 is opposite by hypotenuse AB by AC. Tan 30 plus 1 by 2 is equal to AB 10 by AC. So let us do cross multiplication. AC into 1 is equal to 2 into 10. AC into 1 is AC is equal to 2 tens 20. And the rope yoke length 20 meter. How many such ropes are there? There are actually 3 such ropes. So into 3 j's, the total length of the rope also. That means total length of the rope is actually 60 meter. So in the next tutorial, we will discuss the solutions from problem number 6 to problem number 10. This is your assignment for today. Solve these two problems and post the answers to me as early as possible. Thank you.